the fans, they stay and watch as Corey Coco Golf standing on business serves up a bagel in the second set here against Sone Cartel, the hometown favorite. Coco came out a little bit sluggish, but she would finish the first set winning nearly 90% of her first serves in Cartel, who came through qualifiers, put up a battle. She would play 13 sets this week, and what an amazing, impressive run by Sone. Hopefully, she can break the top 100, and next year, she will not have to even worry about qualifiers. But all business for Coco. She gets the job done. What's next for her, guys? She's going to take on fellow American Emma Navarro. Now, she had some words to say about Emma Navarro in the post-match interview. I'll play that shortly, but a little bit of humor out of Coco. That's right. She said, hopefully, you guys will cheer for me next time. <laughs> Listen, you can't blame the fans cheering for the hometown favorite but I think Coco was being a bit sarcastic as watching the match the fans were cheering very loud for Coco and the announcers I love Andra Petkovic she is so classy she always has beautiful things to say about Coco she said Coco's is so mature she's such a great person on and off the court she's a great rock role model excuse me she stands up for and I've been saying this for years Coco's an amazing role model she stands up for everyone all different types of races, male or female. She's always speaking up on the issues that affect people. She recently spoke up on the issues in Florida. You know, there's a lot of education issues where they're trying to ban curriculum and, you know, deprive people of their history that should be taught. Coco is an amazing person, but she would talk about Emma Navarro and how they played earlier this year. And she said, Emma's a Tough cookie. Listen to this as Coco shakes hands with Cartel at the net. Cartel takes the loser's walk, but she's not a loser. She had an amazing week, and I'm happy that she got Emma this was experience. Earlier this year, she's obviously uh, a great player. She's had a great tournament. I think this is like her first like real season on grass, so um, she's already in the fourth round. So it's going to be a tough match. She's not easy an opponent to play. She said she's not an easy opponent to play, but hopefully if she comes out focused and sticks to her game plan, she'll have success. Now, this is hilarious. This is Emma's first grass season, right, essentially. Coco is 20 years old, and this is her fifth appearance at Wimbledon. And in case you don't know, I, I mentioned this in the community, Coco is the only player on tour. That's right. The last three Grand Slams, he's the only player on tour to make at least the semifinals. The only player on tour. Talk about the consistency as the world's ranked number two. Well, that's why she's ranked number two. That's consistency in the big tournaments. Coco waves to the fans. I'm your host, Get Energy. I'm waving to you. I will see you later. Stay tuned for the fastest minute in tennis. I'm going to give you a rundown of the day. And right now, you know, let's talk about stats. Let's talk about that 90% first serve points won by Coco. That was huge. Five aces. She's reduced the double faults. Now, last year, she averaged about four double faults. That number swelled up early this year. But I think since bringing back her youth coaches to help Brad Gilbert, Something's changed in the serve, guys, because he's not double faulting as much. Five for nine on breakpoint opportunities. 16 winners. Wasn't that aggressive, but she played smart and patient and a 26-point differential in overall points. Coco advances. She's going to take on Emma. That will probably be her toughest 